Hello and welcome to another video where I basically rate all the Xbox uh, console games that I played and have looked at and know about basically. Today we're going to look at the Xbox One exclusive games. And we are I haven't got any Xbox One, so this is all about what I've seen, what I looked at, what I have played, the little bit that I played. So yeah. We, we will start with Rise Sound of Rome. Uh, visually, a stunning game, really fun. Uh, uh, what can you say? Time period to look at. Uh, character could have been a little bit more developed. Uh, the storyline is a little bit confusing sometimes and not that interesting. But the overall, are interesting game, so I will give it a 6.8 out of 10. For launch title it is really a beautiful looking game that we basically showing you the well power of the Xbox One. Next one is Dead Rising 3. Uh, this is one of a type of game that I don't really like to play but uh, it is a one well, interesting looking world. The character could have been a little more Slowly fletched, he is a little bit. He is a little bit lacking, basically, in my opinion. He is lacking some personality and stuff. But uh, and what I think about when I think the rising is basically funny moments. But the rising three doesn't have that many funny, funny moments, in my opinion. But it's a beautiful looking game. Uh, Storyline is decently done, but characters could have been more developed and they are gonna be had more fun with the characters so the rating will be a 7.3 out of 10. Uh, I will not look at Forza 5 because I don't play racing games. So next one is Titanfall. Uh, great idea, great visually, visually the effects are amazing uh, but it lacks a storyline uh, single player that is interesting. You have a single player, but single player or storyline campaign, you're basically playing online during that time. But if you they will have a campaign that is single player only, it will be more interesting, in my opinion. So, but it's a beautiful looking game, interesting idea. So, an 8.1 out of 10 for me. Let's see. Next one is D4. Really fun characters, really fun world. But ends on a cliffhanger. The storyline is amazing in my opinion. The characters are amazing. But when you end a game on a cliffhanger. And basically look at how well it does with the audience. It uh, ends up giving me at least a sour taste. I don't really like that thing when you just end of a cliffhanger and just well say it is up to you the audience or gamers to basically buy it buy it buy it otherwise it will not end or conclude. Uh, otherwise the game we get I will give the game a 7.1 out of 10. Just because I'm a little bit sour about the cliffhanger. Otherwise, I will give it a much higher rating. Uh, next one is Sunset Overdrive. A beautiful looking game, really interesting characters, but a really great uh, storyline. Uh, multiplayer stuff is looking amazing. I will give this game a 8.9 out of 10. Really would like to play it, but not have a Console. Next one is Master Chief, the Master Chief Collection, Halo the Master Chief Collection, and in my opinion it, I don't really like Halo. <laughs> uh, even if I, the stuff that I've seen looks interesting enough, they have done a great job actually uh, remastering the visual, visually part, visual part of the uh, games and the, the cutscenes have been really well done, uh, remade. But 
Och bra I don't like uh, Hill at all When it comes to gameplay And when it comes to actually Well it is basically all about the gameplay When some Well Enemies just stand there sometimes And just take what you do so stuff, yeah. Next one is Ori and the Blind Forest Really beautiful looking game Really great storyline uh, Great size for Great everything basically So I would give it on 9 out of 10 basically Scream Ride I don't know what name about it 5.3 out of 10 it is It doesn't look like a console game basically It looks more like a PC game or a uh, uh, I'm the or mobile game basically in my opinion sorry for telling that uh, state of decay well, uh, one year edition or whatever it's called uh, I will give it a 7.8 out of 10 it look interesting enough this the Basic storyline and basic stuff is there, but overall it is lacking as the multiplayer thing and everything in my opinion. So yeah, and I think that was all the games that I know about on Xbox One and that, that I care about. So yeah, that's all for today, folks. Hope to see you next time for review.